at the start of the Rolex Little Sea Race and uh, we've got a very challenging forecast, very light. It'll be, I think, a lot of restart, going and trying to get around Messina, um, through the straits, um, avoiding ships and no wind and everything. It's really, really hard uh, to sail a light air race. It's much easier when you have consistent pressure, you know, along the race course, but uh, that will separate, uh, you know, the winners from the not winners. It's going to be a challenging race and at some point in the second half of the race we're going to have really nice breeze and we'll see the performance of the Mod 70s. Yeah, it's pretty amazing since, you know, seven Mod 70s were, were built about 10, 15 years ago and uh, in fact there's five of them here. It's, it's, it's having a bit of a renaissance. You know, this first leg down in Messina is looking after the crew, not as well as the sails and the equipment on the boat so that uh, at three o'clock this morning when we're going through the Straits of Messina, not only is the boat in good condition, but the crew is as well. Hopefully uh, somewhere between two and a half and three days. So early Tuesday morning is sort of our best bet right this second. But, you know, could be a half a day later. Who knows? <laughs>
sailing downwind, seven or eight knots of breeze. Well, well, we had our moments, right? We uh, had a good start. Um, you know, we took the lead, kept it for most of the day, lost it, got it back the next day. Uh, and then we couldn't hold on, obviously. Um, but many things happen in this sailboat race. You go an endless, you know, sequence of trials and tribulations, and some of them you don't you don't recover from uh, in time. And uh, that's just how it goes. But uh, huge learning experience, you know. Um, which is the, you know, the part of the journey that's really important, you know. And in the sea state above 30 knots of boat speed, we were showing some weaknesses, and some of that can be contributed to how we were sailing the boat. Um, we need to analyse that, and also um, some of the performance issues with the uh, with the rudders and the foils. Well, we came by Etna, we came by Stromboli, but then we uh, we saw another volcano that shall remain uh, nameless because I don't know what it's called. But it was a massive cauldron uh, high up in the mountains, you know, really hot boil steam coming off of it. Um, you know, against the dark night sky, it was uh, it was a pretty cool thing to see. You know. As always, this race, you know, it's got its own sort of personality. You know, the type of racing it is, you know, each I think the longest leg you sail is about 100, 100 miles. So every every time you get settled, you've got another maneuver or another corner coming up, and a lot of iconic landmarks. So it's um, it's a really cool event. Sort of, it's the last one of the season. And you know, a big part of sailing is not just you know racing or winning races. It's also the journey you go through, developing you know. The program to its full potential, and uh, you got to appreciate that aspect of it. Otherwise, you should probably not be in it.